this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming back with you another video, people. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Appreciate all the old subscribers. People been sticking with me since day one. I appreciate that. Appreciate all the comments and stuff that y'all leave. Thank y'all for that. So with that said, people, also, I got another channel, DC Channel TV. Subscribe, follow me over there and stuff. Talking about investing, if you like that, whatever the case may be. But if it's not, people, um, with that said, I'm going to get to some ammo and stuff. Now, I want to get back to a topic I was doing during the pandemic and stuff when it comes to ammo theft. And a lot of people didn't believe how serious ammo theft was and stuff. Until my every social media was posting that people was buying ammo in, in the mail system, missing ammo out of the box, or got an empty box shipped to them. Um, you know, when the, when the um, ammo retailer said, hey, the box was full and we sent it, but somebody within the mail system stealing your ammunition and stuff like that. So, you know, when you had a lot of the ammo theft and, you know, it was happening everywhere, you know, retailers was dealing with it. Um, your ammo shops were dealing with it. Um, there was ammo shops that had to put the ammo behind the counter to monitor it and stuff. It was just so much stuff going on when it comes to ammo. That was pretty much, um, the reason why some of these shops were increasing ammo prices because some of the losses that was taken and stuff. And a lot of retail took a lot of losses, people. Um, you really don't hear too much about it, but people I talked to at retailers, they took a lot of loss on ammo and stuff. And when the ammo is damaged, they can't sell them. Some can and some can't. So um, with that said, an article I seen that I want to share with you people that, you know, the police in Florida uncovered a half a million rounds, like 500,000 rounds of ammo that was found in a storage storage unit, people. And this is a lot of ammo, you know, 500,000 rounds, people. I'm talking about, that's, I'm talking about, that's a lot of weight. That's heavy. And so for them to find it in the storage shed, the storage shed and stuff, that, that someone was going around stealing ammo. And they were saying it involved uh, multiple Florida cities and stuff like that. And this is what I was talking about. You know, you had people organizing, going around, stealing ammo. And this ammo here pretty much leads to being sold either on your your local classified ads um online all kinds of places meet some of your bargain traders and stuff um you know this ammo is sold pretty much everywhere that is stolen and stuff like that so you know it also could be sold on the streets up to my it's a lot of ways this ammo can be stolen and stuff people so this is like i said before is one of the prime examples i was telling you there's a lot of theft going on and look boom there's many of these um the probably ammo places like this this storage unit that has thousands and thousands of rounds of ammo that has not been found and stuff like that that was stolen from retailers um you know people's uh house whatever the case may be cars and stuff like that that i was telling you about so a lot of these new ammo buyers you know i talk to and sometimes i tell them you know make sure when you're buying ammo in the store and this is something that was happening during the pandemic that i talked about um, we had a local news covered and stuff like that. If you're buying ammo at an ammo retailer, you're buying a lot of ammo. Do not leave the ammo exposed in your front seat in the bag and stuff like that. And you go, you know, go somewhere else to another store shopping or whatever, or, or whatever the case may be, because if somebody's peeping in your car and they see that, that's going to pretty much, they can break in your car and take your ammo and stuff. So we had a lot of that happen. So if you're buying ammo, people put it in your trunk or something like that, but don't have it out so people can see it and you know that's looking for items in your car and stuff you know that's the same thing when it comes to your firearms people lock your firearms up and some type of safe in your vehicle most people you know just leave it in most compartments in the car that most thieves gonna look at and you know just sitting there you know you got a couple hundred dollars worth of ammo or, or, or hundreds of dollars a uh, hundred three four five seven eight hundred dollar gun that you saved up and stuff, and then you just gonna leave it right there. Somebody can break in your car and take it, people. I'm talking about, come on now. We got to start thinking more than that. We got a lot of ammo theft. Most thieves said that they're getting more of firearms in vehicles, people, and their ammo found in vehicles, people. So uh, we got to do a better job as gun owners locking our stuff up. And this will stop a lot of these local laws and politicians seizing on stuff to make the thing, oh, well, we're gonna keep the community safer. By coming after legal gun owners, you know, when we can do little simple things to stop that and stuff. So, but but this is a prime example of how much ammo was being stolen. This is just a small drop in the bucket, people. 500,000 rounds, a small drop in the bucket. 
there's articles with millions and millions of rounds are missing or or they found you know millions of rounds and stuff that i've been looking at all over the place and everything and with the price of ammo and everything the way it is people guess what ammo is one of the top things that thieves are looking at so you know your retailers have still been targeted i'm still hearing you know you have boxes that are fine on the shelves that are missing rounds or completely empty. They're dumping the boxes in their pockets, the ammo in their pockets and coat jackets or whatever the case may be, and then put the box back, people. So ammo theft is still happening, but you as a gun owner, you can protect your ammo too by storing it safely, putting it away. And if you're shopping and buying ammo and stuff like that, people, don't leave it out so people can see it. Don't don't leave it out because, you know, thieves are walking the parking lots. I've seen thieves walking, checking doors and stuff pulling your handle and a lot of times they're lucky because most people so in so much of a rush they don't even lock the doors people they don't even lock the doors they're leaving change or any little thing exposed money or something that they see they get in and guess what they hit the jackpot because they either find a firearm or they might can find some ammo or something i'm talking about you know these are things that can sell on the streets real quickly people so i kind of want to share this article and show you some of the things that i've been looking at and everything when it comes to ammo and stuff like that but I know if you're, you're working hard, you're saving your money, buying expensive ammo and stuff, I know you just don't want to do all that and just have your ammo stolen because of, you know, you're just not taking the responsibility of putting it up and stuff like that in your firearms too, people. So um, just do a good job as gun owners doing that, people. I kind of want to talk about it and show you the article that ammo theft is still happening. It's still A lot of ammo has still been stolen through the mail. It hasn't stopped. It's still happening, people. So I'm talking about the mail system to me is one of the biggest theft there is out there because, you know, these are people who handle your packages. They know these packages. They know where they're coming from. And they're, you know, pretty much stealing stuff out of it. And they know of these companies that are sending ammo. They pretty much know. So like I said before, also something that a lot of people don't, if you're ordering ammo online, this is something that you probably ain't been told but these are little giblets and stuff that I'm putting out for gun owners and stuff. Existing or new gun owners. If I'm ordering ammo online, get insurance on your ammo. They give you, some of them give you like a basic, some depends on who you're shipping with. They might give you a hundred dollars. But if you're spending more than a hundred dollars, people, you need to get that extra insurance to cover the money that you're spending on that ammo. So I always do that. Get me extra insurance. I pay that little fee to get that extra insurance on the ammo. Because like I said before, if I'm ordering two, three hundred dollars worth of ammo. And I only got a hundred dollar coverage, people. They saw, they all they, they, the the shipping company is only gonna cover that hundred dollars up to a hundred dollars. So get that extra insurance. A lot of people don't know that, but make sure you double check, make sure you have some type of insurance on your ammo. A lot of people don't do it, but you you suffer that downside by trying to go back and forth with the shipping company because they say, well, you know, we only can cover it to a hundred dollars. I understand you spent so and so and so, so up to Mike, and then. They, it's always going to be this back and forth, you know, where the ammo was missing at and stuff like that. So they, 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 leave, they pretty much keep you from going through all that people that a lot of people experienced during the pandemic and frustration, get their extra insurance. So that'll help you out if you're ordering ammo online and stuff like that. So kind of want to talk about ammo theft for a little bit. I got more videos that I'm working on and stuff, people. So I appreciate everybody that support the channel and stuff. So thank you for that. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.